What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. This is Memphis League Cup Top 4. And uh, in the last game, we saw... Oh, man, I already forgot. Oh, Brandon versus Cody. Uh, <laughs> it was Lycanroc Zark versus Espeon Drampa Garboder. And now we have Top 4. We actually have myself on the left. Uh, we are going to be playing the Lycanroc Zark deck. And on the right, we have Skylar. Planned. Uh, do we ruin it now? Do we keep it a secret? We already know about the title. It is going to be uh, a Ho O, I guess, Vol Turtonator. Not a, not a, tur a Volcania. Ho O Turtonator uh, deck. It is very just fire based. Want to Kiawe turn one and get that Phoenix burn out, maybe Bright Flame, and try to take these knockouts very, very quickly. Uh, so we're going to see what's going to happen here. Um, <clears throat> see both players. <laughs> We see we both kind of mess around shuffling each other's decks. And uh, we're going to get set up here. We're playing these black sleeves using the Pokemon Championship National Play Mat. There we go, guys. Look how look how amazing that is. That stream mat we have right there, guys. Uh, but both players are setting up right now. And I'm not really sure how this match kind of plays out. Me and Skyla did play in Swiss. And he would start Lele and I would donk his only Lele. And that's how that game would go. Uh, so hopefully we have a little bit more exciting of a game. This is best 2 out of 3 instead of just one game like we saw. Well, you didn't really see it. But in Swiss, we only play one game. And uh, here we go. So I start Rockroth and I have 2. Zora. So who needs Bridget when you have this turn uh, for us? But I'm going to put six price cards out. Let's see. Does Skylar have a Mulligan here? It looks like he does. Find a Pokemon. And I think it's actually a Tapu Lele. Uh, it looks like it's a Psychic type one out when he's put it out. But here we go. Both players are putting out six prize cards. So we're going to see what's going to happen, guys. Do you want to see the Zora Lycanroc deck? Or do you want to see the Ho-Oh <clears throat> um, Tartanator deck? So Skylar does start with Tapu Lele, unfortunately. But he is going to go first. and Which is, could be very useful if he gets that Ultra Ball Tarot and Kiawe. And he can start putting some huge pressure on with that Phoenix Burn turn 2. Uh, maybe go for that Sacred Fire. Maybe attach a Fighting Fear Belt. Which can allow him to do 60 damage. I don't know. We're going to find out here in a second to see what Skylar decides to do. So we see Ultra Ball discarding two uh, Golden Fire Jays to find a Tapu Lele for a Kiawe. Oh man, he's got that turn one Kiawe, which allows him to attach four energies to one of his Pokemon. We see an Ultra Ball, so he will get that turn one Kiawe off. He discarded three Fire Jays though, and a Switch already, uh, which could be very. Um, I don't know, it depends on how many fighter energies he plays, he probably plays like 15 or 16, how many switches he plays, and there is a turn 1 Kiawe coming out, and now when he uses Kiawe, it's actually going to end his turn, it would be insane if you get Kiawe and then not end your turn, oh man, that'd be pretty crazy, uh, but we're going to see 4 fighters going to his Ho-Oh, ho and here I am reading his Ho-Oh, I don't, I don't know why I was reading, I guess, you know, it's not a card you usually play against a lot. and just want to make sure it's a couple things, like the Sacred Fire. Maybe maybe realize what Phoenix Burn does. If you don't know, Sacred Fire does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, Sacred Fire does 180, but you can't use Phoenix Fire during your next turn. And it does have the Eternal Flame GX. Uh, put three of any combination of Fire Pokemon, uh, GX or EX, uh, from your discard pile onto your bench. But we're most likely not going to see that at all. Alright, so on my turn, we got an Ultra Ball, but like I said, we already kind of have like a Bridget almost. We could Ultra Ball for like another Zora, and I think that's what we're going to see here. Maybe discard the Choice Band of Float Stone. Uh, no, go discard the end and uh, Puzzle Time. Okay, alright, alright. And I think, okay, I, I know what's going to happen here. I think I'm going to Lele for a Sycamore. I'm saying, hey, you're going to, you Kiawe turn one, and you only have one card in hand. Maybe you don't have a supporter card. I don't want it in you. Um, just to give you a new hand, I kind of, you know, don't know what he has. So I'm going for Sickle here. Not really going to attach the, uh, not really going to go for an in, because he only has one card in hand. No, no, need, no reason to refill his hand size. And we see Sickle more going to discard our hand, drawing seven new cards. We do find another Rock Ruff. We find some Zorks for next turn. Okay, so we see a Rock Ruff come down. Uh, let's see what else to get here. <clears throat> now, we could, oh, we didn't get any energy either, so that's unfortunate. So we can't attach anywhere, and we might just see a pass onto Skylar's turn. Now, we did leave a Rock Ruff in the X-Spot with the Float Stone, but I really don't want a Rock Ruff to get stuck in the X-Spot. But we do see a second where going to discard his hand, draw on seven new cards. Now, either way, he can't really take a knockout unless he finds a Fighting Fear Belt on a Rock Ruff, unless he wants to waste a Phoenix Burn attack. Remember, when he Phoenix Burns, he actually can't attack with Phoenix Burn again unless he plays some kind of Guzma switch or some kind of way to get out of the active spot. Okay, so see Skylar. <clears throat> Does he have a Fire Energy? Maybe a Floatstone to retreat the Lele? 
Okay, um, let's see, what does, he does have Fuel Blower, which could get rid of the tools, and that is what we're going to see, we're going to see Fuel Blower, get rid of the Flowstone, get rid of the Choice Band, make it where we do not have that free retreat next turn, unfortunately, and he does have a, let's see, uh, there's a, an Ultra Ball, okay, let's see what he decides to get here, it looks like he's going to discard another Fire Pokemon, and he already discarded a ho -Oh GX uh, when he did that Sycamore, he did have a Sycamore with a ho -Oh GX in his hand already, and there we see him discard a Savali GX, uh, Savali does have that, uh, I think it's called Gyro Unit, I think it's what it's called, the ability given it free retreat to all his Pokemon, which can be really, really nice, uh, just retreat between different Pokemon, you don't have to waste uh, your, your stuff, and it does have, you know, Rebel GX, which can get a knock out of nowhere, as, as, out of nowhere, too, and does have that attack that does like three energies, and you get an energy you discard ball attached to your Pokemon. But I don't think he really. Oh, he hit it. Okay, I was gonna say I don't think he really wants Savali in this matchup. But we will see him grab the Type Null because uh, Savali is weak to fighting, and we do play Lycan Rock in our deck, which can take easy knockouts on that Savali. But let's see, he's gonna Ultra Ball. Looks like he's just gonna Ultra Ball away the Savali, maybe. Uh, so yeah, you see Ultra Ball discarding Savali. Let's see what he decides to grab here. I think he just. One to get to Savali, um, but he is down four Ultra Balls, I think, if I remember correctly. Maybe three or four, and there is an Orangaroo coming out. Orangaroo will allow him to struck to draw more cards. He is definitely looking for a fighting, a Fire Energy, a Switch, some way to get this Lele out of the active spot. And we do see a struck for two cards, and he does hit a Fire Energy. So now he can retreat into that Ho-Oh GX, but does he want to actually attack with Phoenix Bird? I don't know. We see a Fire Energy going to the active. Going to see a train to the ho -Oh GX, and we will see, let's see what attack he decides to use. Does he hit somebody for 50 damage? And no, instead he's going to go for that Phoenix Burn for the knockout, and I'm going to put a Zor. We already have a Zork in hand, we have a Guzma as well, uh, so we will put down a, a Zork. We have the, you know, the Riot is beating in the tray. We know what this card does, we've seen it a billion times. We see another Rock Ruff hit the field. And let's see what else we got here. We got a pu double puzzle, which double puzzle could get us like a supporter card for this turn. But then we're down all of our puzzle times. We already discarded two. And I think that's what I'm actually eyeballing right now. It's like double puzzle. Maybe we'll grab something. Uh, we can't take a knock on this hoe no matter what. It has 190 HP. We do see the double puzzle coming down. And we're going to see an Ultra Ball. <clears throat> and it looks like a Sycamore coming into our hand. Uh, but like I said, we have no way to take, take a knock on this turn. But we're going to see Ultra Ball. Go and discard, um, let's see here, what did he discard? The Lycanroc and the Guzma, maybe find another Zora, um, maybe another, I think a Zora or Zark, yeah, either one of those is fine, so we see a Zark come down, and what we kind of have to do here is two-shot this ho -Oh GX, remember, he already used his Phoenix Burn attack, so he can attack with it again, he can go for that Sticker Fire, maybe, you know, Put some pressure on one of one of our guys, and that's pretty much it. Uh, we see Sycamore going to discard our hand, drawing seven new cards. Looking for another Zora, like I said, a DCE for sure. And we actually whiff the DCE, so we actually cannot take a knockout. But we do have those trades that we can use right now. Uh, so we could trade, you know, maybe the in away, draw two cards. And then we do have a puzzle, which puzzle will allow us to ring your top three cards of the deck. So we are going to discard the Rock Ruff instead. Okay, um, like I said, we have the puzzle, so we can look at top three cards of our deck and just try to guarantee a DC for next or for this next trade. So puzzle, gonna reach top three, and there is actually is that a DC? I don't think there is a DC in our hand. Um, yes, yeah, so I do not think we have a DC, so we'll, we will not see an attack come off this turn, unfortunately. And now that's gonna be a little bad because our opponent can just you know take a fire, put the pressure on Zorak, and the next turn take a knockout no matter what. All right, so I'm going to put that right there. We are going to go for a second trade, maybe discarding it in. Um, I, I, okay, so see a fight energy, so he knows. Skylar now knows that we're not attacking this turn, okay? Uh, we, so we're going to see a trade, discard it in, draw two new cards. We get a Kikui and uh, something else, which we'll see a pass on to Skylar's turn. All right, so that was uneventful. No DC to attack this turn, but really Skylar, he doesn't have too much going for him either like i said he can go for a phoenix burn if he has a guzma and a choice spin and a fire energy he can then take a knockout on like a bench zark gx and put himself in a, in a fantastic spot but outside of that he needs something crazy like i just said he needs a guzma fire energy and a choice man take a knock on a zark um he could guzma fire energy retreat to knock out a lele 
Um, or like I said, he could just go for Phoenix Bird doing 50 damage to our Zark and just try to soften it up so that way he could take a knockout that following turn. But let's see what Skylar decides to do here. He is debating a card in his hand. He's taking a second to decide what does he want to do here. I think he does have a fire energy. Uh, maybe it's a Lele. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, oh, that's a Volcanion. Okay, so Volcanion does have that steam of attack so he could do 30 extra damage if he wants to. There's a fire energy to the Lele. Uh, we see it in both players are going to shuffle up and get six new cards. All right, so uh, with these six new cards, what are we looking for? Well, we're we looking for a DCE to get right. He's beating off. Um, maybe a Lycanroc right now. Dangerous Rogue only does 150 uh, with a strong energy, 170 with Choice Pan 200, which only does 180 to Ho-Oh GX because he is resistant to fighting. So we actually cannot take a knockout on this Ho-Oh GX no matter what unless he benches another Pokemon. Uh, now, what does Skylar need? Well, he needs a switch, maybe. A, I don't know if he wants to type Noel down, like I said. Really, don't want to put an easy knockout for us. Uh, he does look like he has a Turtonator. If he has a switch, we already touched a Fire Energy, so he can't go for that. Uh, unless he plays Elixirs, which we haven't seen in his deck yet. And I don't think he has a switch. Oh, is that a switch in his hand? If that's a switch, that'd be dirty. Uh, be able to switch, retreat, and go for another Phoenix Burn. They ever see a Type Null hit in the field. All right, so he's getting ready to get that, you know, get his attack off, or get his Valley GX next turn, maybe. Uh, we see a Nest Ball. Going to search his deck for a Pokemon, put it onto his bench. But we might see him fill it. I think what he might be looking for is a, way, like a, like an Astruck for two. Maybe find a, try to find a Switch uh, to get that Ho GX out of the active spot. That's what he might be trying to do. They ever see a Turtonator come down. And he already has a switch into the Lele, and now what he's looking for is a Choice Band. A Choice Band will allow him to take a knockout this turn. Owner, Zorak, GX, and put him down to three prize cards. So here we go, Struck for two, one, and two. He's got a Field Blower and another Pokemon, so he did not find the Choice Band, but he can still put some heavy pressure on our Zorak, GX. Blow it up, do 180, not taking a knockout, but put us in an awkward situation where we have to find an Ace Roller, or he can just snipe the Zorak no matter where it's at on the field. So we'll see you treat into the probably the Ho GX. He's already attached. Uh, so yeah, gonna retreat into the Ho GX. And like I said, we're gonna see Phoenix Burn do 180 damage. And we're gonna see what happens on my turn. So here we go. The Phoenix Burn attack coming off. See 180 damage coming out. And on my turn, we're gonna hit a Zora. Alright, so right now we do not have an ace roll. Like I said, the problem with not having an ace roll is they can't take a knock on next turn. But on Skylar's side of the field, if you notice, he has five Pokemon down. Uh, with five Pokemon, we are we could get a Lycanroc out this turn. Uh, Lycanroc will allow us to take a knockout on him. So we see two cards come into our hand with the first trade. Okay, we have one more trade left. Uh, here we have an E-Hammer. We're going to trade that away, draw two more cards. And we find a Floatstone, but no energies again. So we see a uh, Zora coming down. Okay. Uh, we've got an Ultra Ball. <clears throat> Ultra Ball can get us... I don't, I don't even know. Um, unfortunately, yeah, we don't really have that good of a hand. So, see Ultra Ball. Okay, let's see what we decide to get out here. We're going to Ultra Ball. Discard two cards. Man, we didn't hit a, a Fighting Energy. We had a Fighting Energy. We could knock out his only Pokemon with Energies with our Rock Ralph, which we did not see. Uh, so, we're in a bad situation right now. So, is he Ultra Ball? Getting a, uh, discarding a Zora and a Tapu Lele. All right, let's see what I decide to get here. Alright, so we're gonna have a Lycanroc. Now with Lycanroc, um <clears throat> Huh. We don't have an energy in hand, so I wonder what I'm gonna decide to do here. Like I said, we can't take a knockout. We have no DCEs. We do have a field blower, which is pretty, you know, not that useful. We have an ace roll in hand, so we can't ace roll the active. Okay, so we'll bring the Zorak back into our hand so we can't take a knockout. Send it the rock with a fighting energy, put down Lycanroc, and Bring up the Oranguru. So what I'm actually going to do here is corner his Oranguru in the active spot. So they receive a, a corner. Uh, going to put the get the Oranguru. He can't retreat next turn. And this is actually a, an interesting play because now we know Skylar is going to play two switches. He can play a Guzma to get the Oranguru out of the active spot. But if he does that, we then have a Rock Rope with the Fighting Energy that is able to knock out his Ho -Oh GX the following turn. So even though we were in a bad situation, we found a way, we found an out. We found, you know, hey, this is how we're going to, you know, stall a turn. We're going to, you know, we're not really in the best positions, but, you know, we're going to try our best. And we are able to get this Oranguru stuck in the act spot. Now, unless he plays another, um, unless he puts down another, uh, 
Switch. I don't know how many Switches he plays. I do not know Skylar's deck. Uh, I know he's played two so far. You see me right there looking through his deck, see how many Switches he's playing and stuff like that. So two Switches have already been played. Does he play a third one? His deck does play that Savali GX. I don't think he would play a third one. That'd be pretty crazy to see. Maybe, but it might be possible. So see Elixir here. Uh, gonna look at top uh, six cards of his deck. Does he find a basic fire energy or not? You do see that fighting memory in his deck as well, which allows us, us to Valley to become a fighting type, put some heavy pressure on us for sure. All right, so gonna see the Max Elixir with. Okay, he does have a choice spin, uh, but I do not see a switching card. Which is going to be really bad for Skylar. Yeah, so, you know, this play looks like it did work out. We see the Valley GX coming down. And, yeah, this corner rock of has just looked like it saved us a turn. And we top deck a DCE. All right, so see a Zora come down. <clears throat> Let's see what else we get here. Uh, trade number one, discarding. And there's another like rock. So now what we can do is we can like rock, bring up that Ho GX. Attach a DCE and go for a dangerous rogue and take out his only energies on the field. So DC going to the active. Uh, all right, so there we go. We're looking great all of a sudden. We do have a mind jack zork, and there we see Skylar concede of the game, realizing like, hey, I can't do much after this. You're gonna take out my only attacker, and I think what essentially happened is Skylar almost ran out of fighter jays. We saw in the early game he discarded four or five fighter jays. He had four on that um, ho, -ho and I remember he told me he had multiple fighter jays prior. So we were able to steal the game away with that corner rock rub. Uh, be able to <laughs> Oh man, that was so mean. Be able to corner, get that ringer who's stuck in the axe spot. He actually found us a valley as well. So if we did not corner, um, he would have retreated, took a knockout, and you know kept like, progressing. You know, kept taking price cards. We he would have knocked out only Pokemon with the energy. Um, uh, so yeah, there we go. That was really, really cool play. And like I said, with the corner. When we did that, if he did find a Guzma, he would leave a Rockruff on the bench with the Fighting Energy, which can once then, once again, you know, knock out his Ho GX. So, Corner Rockruff, you know, showing his weight and his gold. You know, the other one is good as well. The promo one to get knock out Zora, Zoras, you know, knock out a Hoopa, that kind of thing. But Corner, man, it might just be the better one. <laughs> You just, you know, when you play Pokemon, you gotta find all the outs you can. In that game, we did find the outs by using that corner attack. Wow, that was pretty insane. We did, <laughs> we did even attack once. The only attack we did that game was corner, and we won. Like we did, we almost used Dangerous Rogue with Skylar Scoop before that even happened. So here we go to game number two. Oh my goodness, let's see what happens. Skylar will go first. Does he get that turn one Kiawe? We know that you know these decks do. You know, try to get the turn one Kiawe all day, every day. All right, so let's see what Skylar's hand. Um, does he have the turn with Kiawe? I think I have a Mulligan. Is what's happening right now. Um, so yeah, I have double Zorark. I ain't a bridge. So yeah, no, no base Pokemon for me, but that's fine. Uh, we'll just let Skylar draw more cards. It's not like he already has a turn with Kiawe, most likely. But uh, yeah, with game number two, <clears throat> what can happen? What's what's the difference in this game? Well, I think what needs to happen is you know Skylar doesn't need to prize as many Fighter Gs. He doesn't need to. Uh, discard so many fighter Gs, but that stuff happens. You can't control that. It's just what you draw into. You know, it's just it's just how Pokemon goes. Um, you just draw the cards, you play what you have, and that's pretty much it. But what on my side of the field? Well, the only difference is really is that I need to find a DC and start attacking. We <laughs> it was for turn three. We were using third three or four. We were using corner. Like we weren't using right to speedy like the deck is supposed to be. Uh, but we're gonna set up here. We're gonna find. Seven new cards. Let's see what do we find. All right. So can we find a basic Pokemon or not? Uh, looks like we do find a Lele, but we find a Bridget as well. So Bridget will kind of save us, allow us to find two Zoras and a, a Light a Rock Rock most likely. But here we go, guys. Take out the Mulligan card. Uh, get the handshake, and here we go into game number two. We do start Lele, but we see Skylar does have a Ho GX, and he has a Ranguru. Man. All right. So Ranguru coming the X spot again. Um, so, we see a Type No come down. Let's see, we see a, a Ho GX. And actually, I told Skylar, I was like, Skylar, I don't think you drew for your turn. And I should have told him he needed to draw for his turn, because when he did that, he topped like a Lele. You saw right there, he didn't have a Lele. I reminded Skylar, hey, you didn't draw your card for the turn. You uh, drew from Mulligan back for the card. And there he goes. He actually finds a Lele off the card. When I was like, hey, man, you should probably draw for your turn. He finds a Lele. He's going to get Kiawe, and he's going to get five energies on the field turn one. This is insane, and it puts a lot, a lot of pressure on us. Wow. Alright, so uh, there's Kiawe. 
Oh, man. Yep. So, I see Keali coming down. Gonna get four fire energies attached to the Ho GX. And, uh, Skylar's got five energies turn one. And it just can't, you know, can't be mad. It, it happens sometimes in Pokemon. And it's just how the cookie crumbles. So, Skylar's set up here. He's got five energies without playing a sport card. Oh, no, my turn. We find a choice band. And now. We are in a weird position. We do, like I said, we have the Bridget, so you can find uh, two Zoras and a Rock Ruff. Uh, so there's one Zora. I imagine this is going to happen here. Find two Zoras and a Rock Ruff. Uh, probably put the Fighting Energy on the Rock Ruff that's in our hand and just pass. Um, Skylar can go for Guzma. You know, Phoenix were to knock out the Rock Ruff. But then we have our two Zoras left. So I, I like doing this play when you have the chance to do it. There's really no need to attach a DC to a Zora. Uh, like I said, there's really no need to touch a DCE. Just go get knocked out. I'd rather try to set up this Rock Ruff for next turn. So, Fight Energy to the Rock Ruff. Um, and we'll just see a pass onto Skylar's turn. Gonna draw a card. And let's see, what does he have here? He has another Ho GX. And, you know, Skylar knows. He knows about, you know, um, Dangerous Rogue GX. I mean, he has, he has Savali who has a Rebel GX. So, he, we essentially have the same kind of GX attacks. And speaking of Savali, there it is. It now gives that Ringer a free retreat. And we see an end. Both of us will get six new cards here. Now, there's no Guzman this turn. But Skylar can still... Take a knockout. He can retreat. Send in that, that Ho GX. Use that Phoenix Burn. Top of Lele has 170 HP. And we are going to put ourselves in a weird situation. So here we go, guys. Going to get some cards here. Now, we do have a chance to knock out this Savali, though. Um, Savali is weak to fighting. Um, so if we go for a Dangerous Rogue, we do have a double strong energy Kikui in our hand, which could maybe do it. I mean, if Skylar puts down another Pokemon. We can maybe take a knockout. If he, yeah, if he puts down one Pokemon, we have a shot to out this to take a knockout on the Ho GX. But does he put down the Pokemon or not? He does have the Turtinator. You can see he is debating there. You can see him kind of do the math in his hands. Uh, do I put down this? Do I put down this Turtinator or not? He's gonna make the smart decision. Not put down the Turtinator. I don't think he's going to. Like I said, a dangerous rogue would allow us to knock him out. Um, so, yeah, I think we're just going to see a, a Phoenix Burn here. Taking a knockout. Go to send the Rock Off and onto our turn. What do we find? We've top deck a DCE. And like I said, if we find a, a Lycan Rock, we can bring up that Bench to the Valley. Take a knockout and actually go 4-4 four four on Prius cards. But then Skylar can then use his Phoenix Burn attack again. So, definitely a weird situation. We see a Bridget draw two cards. We see double Rock Off coming to our hand. Uh, so, no way to attack right now. We do have a Kikui, uh, which can allow us to draw two cards. So, Kikui drawn two. And we find an E-Hammer Choice Band. So we are definitely in a bad situation right now. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we might see another corner here. That's... I mean, it looks like what we're doing. We do have, a, like I said, a, fight, a, D, uh, a DC in our hand. We have Strong Energies as well. We can maybe touch a Strong Energy to a Rock Ruff. Um, try to get that set up. You know, maybe try to, you know, go for it that way. We could put a strong energy in the active. Looks like we put a DC on the bench, Zork. I don't know if I like this play a lot. Like I said, really no need to do this. Unless I'm going to retreat and go for Riot Speeding and try to two-shot this Ho GX. And I think, I think that's what I'm actually going to do here. I think I'm going to retreat and go for a Riot Speeding. Uh, you can see me trying to think here. Do I want to save the fighting energy? The fighting energy is so valuable, uh, allowing us to get this dangerous rogue attack off. But we'll see a choice man be attached to the uh, uh, Zork GX. We kind of need it to hit numbers, because uh, right now we're only doing 80, which doesn't allow us to two-shot this Ho GX. So we need to retreat, sit up the Zork, and go for a riotous beating here. Um, just try to do as much damage as possible. So there we go. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 110 damage coming down to this Ho GX. Now, the problem that can happen next turn is we saw in Skylar's hand last game that he plays Fighting Memory. So if he could attach a, uh, if he could power this Savali, attach a fighting memory to it he naturally took a knockout this turn with his Savali gx which is very very scary <laughs> uh he also has a Savali too so he has that free retreat he can retreat to different pokemon maybe play a switch maybe a guzma he can take another knockout this turn pretty easily um he'll need a choice man to knock out the zork though so is he a, a ho gx turn now we see a max looks like we're gonna look at the top six cards of his deck we know last game we did fail, but this time it does hit. He does find a Fighter G. Can it attach it to the Ho GX. Remember, it can only attach to basic bench Pokemon. Uh, so it will not work on that Savali GX, unfortunately. Okay. He does have a Turtonator. Looks like he's going to put a Choice Spin on the active. Oh, man. He is going for that knock on this turn. He's trying to find a switch. We see attachment to that Ho GX. And now it's pretty much does he find 
a switch. If he finds a switch, he'll be able to knock out the Zorak GX and go down to two price cards. So you see Sycamore go and discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Does Skylar find this switch or not? We know he does play two for sure. We saw him play two last game. And does he hit one? I don't think I see one in his hand. I see an Ultra Ball. I see a Max Luxer. Um, I see a bunch of stuff. So now the next question is, can Skylar put his hand down to less than three and use a ring route to instruct for more guards? Man, yeah, no switch here. Well, last game, he drew the switches early. This game, he is not drawing his switches ass at all. So see if Max looks here, going to, you know, find some new cards. Now, if he does have double Max Luxer, he could go for a Phoenix Burn. But looks like he is going to whiff this Max Luxer, right? So no Max Luxer. For number two, so he's one out of three so far out of both games, uh, but he's only played two this game so far, okay. He's already attached to Fire to Ho oh so we're not really worried about a Savali attacking this turn, so that's really good to note. Um, and yeah, uh, the Tide has turned now. We are we are not in a good spot. <laughs> uh, we see an Ultra Ball, okay, discarding a, let's see, well, his turn's not over yet. Uh, a Volcanian and a Guzma. Oh, uh, I think that's what, yeah, a Volcanian Guzma. All right, so we discard those two. Probably find a Tertinator. Um, like I said, maybe go for this Instruct play, trying to draw for one card. I think he can get his hand down to, to two. Um, okay, so not going to find anything with this uh, Ultra Ball. Looks like he is going to fail it. I wonder if he's going to fail it because he does want to put another Bench Pokemon down or because he doesn't have any left. But there we see a Nest Ball. All right, that's why he didn't put anything down because he wants to save the Nest Ball. And he will, okay, well, he still doesn't get anything. Man, I wonder if it's at the Terminator Surprise. We know he discarded one. Man, that'd be pretty crazy if he discarded if it both is at the Terminator Surprise. And he does have a DCE in hand. Oh, man. So he does play DCEs. We see he struck for one. And he finds a ho -O GX. Man, if he would have put down the ho -O GX, maybe he wouldn't have drawn into it. And maybe would have hit the switch. Oh, man. But now Skylar is, you know, what does he do here? He can go for Sick and Fire, but he doesn't want to leave this ho -O GX in the active spot because this, it just gets knocked out. He can't, you know, um, attack with a bitch ho -O GX. And he attached an energy this turn already. And a max Luxor. Uh, so definitely Skylar is in a bad situation all of a sudden. He was looking good. He was in a good spot. But now he's kind of in trouble. He can, you know, use that Sick and Fire. Uh, put some pressure on the active. And that's what we're going to see here. So on my turn let's see what we decide to do we have a strong energy um we get attached to somebody we got a, a rock rough in hand we can maybe discard that uh so we're gonna trade discard the rock rough draw two new cards there is a zark okay so we find another zark we got an ultra ball uh let's see what we decide to discard okay so it looks like we're gonna ultra oh no we're going for trade here okay i can never tell what i'm doing <laughs> All right, so we see a strong energy be attached to the Rock Rough, okay. Um, and we have an end which could put Skylar down to four. A uh, little bit here, he has what three cards in hand, so I don't know if it really works playing this end. We might just go for Riotous beating and just take a knockout. There we see a choice bank on to the bench, Rock Rough, and it looks like we are actually going to go for in here. Just try to find maybe some more Zoras, get that set up as well. Um, we already attached a strong energy to this Rock Rough from the bench, so if. I mean, we are to commit an energy, so we can't attach again. But we will be able to take a knockout here. 20, 40, 60, 80, uh, 12. You know, we are to take a knockout here. Thanks to that choice man from last turn. So that's really nice. So we'll both get some new cards here. Sky will get four. We get four as... Or no, we get six. All right. So we found an Ace Roll and a Lycan Rock for next turn. And a Flow Stone. Such a Flow Stone to the Rock Rough. Um, just trying to ready if he ends us. We know. We want to make sure we have some outs. Uh, so uh, Flow Stone there. Okay. And we're going to see a Riot is beating. We're going to take a knockout going down to four price cards. So now we're all tied up four to four in price cards. But then it comes down to Dust Skylar find like a DC fighting memory. That can knock out a Zark. We see a Lycan Rock come down. Okay, so no no uh, Bloodthirsty Eyes. We just want to put down this uh, Lycan Rock so that we have an attack our next turn. He can't actually like Guzma it up. Um, you see me do my math real quick, making sure I'm taking a knockout. <laughs> All right, so see a ringer coming to the X spot. I always, always want to make sure I have all my numbers right <laughs> when I'm playing Pokemon. So on the Skylar's turn, he's going to draw a card. Let's see what he finds here. He does have a DC in hand, uh, but he needs a fighting memory. But if he does that, we do have the Light Rock that can't attack next turn. Oh, man. So uh, I, I'm kind of going to put this Light Rock down, and it gives us the ability to take a knockout while he really can't knock out this Light Rock because um, it has too much HP, really. 
Uh, Rebel GX only does 150, with a choice spent 180. Uh, so we actually, you know, made sure we had everything correct. I don't think we had an option to put down the Pokemon either. Uh, but just noting, pretty much, you know, we, we made sure we he made sure he can't take a knockout this turn on our Lycanroc. Um, so is he Ultra Ball? Discarding a Ho and a Switch. Oh, there's a Switch that he needed last turn to take a knockout on our Zark. Man, all right. So what is Skylar find here? Once again, he's looks like he's not gonna find anything. Um, yeah, I guess he's, yeah, he's not going to find anything. He's just looking through his deck. Oh, he is going to grab a Tapu Lele, I think is what he just grabbed. I'm not 100% sure. I can't really see it from this angle. No, this is, it's a Savali. Uh, maybe he just wants to discard the Savali, not having it in his deck anymore. Maybe he has, like, a Sycamore, and he wants to, you know, just, you know, I don't want to draw it to the Savali later on, so that's why I'm going to play get Savali on my deck. So, yeah, it looks like he's going to grab the Savali. Okay, maybe, okay, no. Going to grab the Lele instead? Uh, Lele for Sycamore? Okay. Or maybe did he... Uh, maybe he had Lele in hand. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, either way, this is fine. He now has four bench Pokemon. Uh, Lycanroc can't take a knockout on top of Lele next turn. Uh, so we see a Sycamore coming down. Uh, going to discard his hand. Drawn seven new cards. Okay. So we see Sycamore discarding his hand, drawing seven cards. Let's see what does Skylar find here. Um, does he find maybe a D? Like I said, what he needs right now is a DCE and a Fighting Memory, or a Fire Energy and a Max Luxor. One of those two combinations to take a knockout on the Zark. If not, uh, the Zark will still live. It'll, it will not get knocked out, and we're in a good spot to go. So let's see what the Skylar has here. He does have a Fire Energy. Um, looks like he is going to attach a Fire Energy to a. Ho OGX, which is not a knockout immediately unless he has a max elixir. So he had fire energy going to the Ho GX, okay. Um We have a DCE and a, and if we find a we have DC and Guzma, so we can knock out this Ho GX next turn, which is really great. Uh he's actually just gonna retreat into this Ho -Oh and Phoenix Burn here. He's actually just, you know, just gonna attack with the Phoenix Burn, which puts him in a spot where Oh, he's actually going to do 50 damage to the Lycanroc. He wants to siphon, soften the Lycanroc up just a little bit. But on our turn, we're going to draw a card. We have another uh, Lycanroc in our hand. Uh, but I think right now, we just, you know, if we have Ace Roller, we can Ace Roll the active. Take a knockout with this Lycanroc. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to do here. We're going to see uh, a trade number one. I'm uh, going to draw two cards. We got a Zora. We're going to put that down. All right, so that's really nice. Have another Zora hit the field. Um, like I said, Rebel GX is kind of, uh, you know, scary. But do we worry about Rebel GX or not? We could put down the Zora, then Ace Rolla, and then not really worry about Rebel GX at all. Um, which I think we could do. I think they have Ace Roll in hand. I think I saw it. Maybe I'm just crazy and there's not an Ace Roll in our hand at all. I know there's a DC in our hand. Oh, nope, there's Ace Rolla. Yeah, we do have an Ace Rolla. So we're going to trade, discard the second one. And what I'm doing here is, like I said, I don't want to put down a bitch Pokemon and have the Savali able to take a knockout on our Zark next turn. So Ace Rolla, going to pick up the active Zark. Uh, going to send in the uh, Rock Rover for your treat. We're going to put down the DC on the Lycanroc. Um, we could uh, put down another bench, but I think I'm going to keep my, my hand like this. I don't think I'm going to put down another Pokemon. <clears throat> um, oh, no. Actually, since we Ace Rolla, he can't take a knockout Rebel GX, Rebel GX anymore. He actually needed another bench Pokemon. So now we only have two bench. Rebel GX is take a knockout. We can use Dangerous Rogue and knock out his active Ho-Oh GX. We'll do 5, 10, 15, 20. 220, 250 with a choice fan, and there we go, taking a knockout, going down to two price cards, and now Skylar is in a he's in a bad situation here. Uh, he can't knock out this, you know, this Lycan Rock. There's no way he could do that. Um, if we have another uh, Lycan Rock, we could bring up his Savali, take a knockout on it, go down, and just win the game from there. Yeah, so uh, we're looking good right now. I don't know what Skylar can really do for this turn. He needs to end us. Our hand is. Humongous right now. We have like a billion cards in there. You see, I'm just putting down how many cards we have. So, he's got to ask how many cards we have. There we go. Just showing him off. I think it's like 12, 13. Uh, but here we see a Max Luxor. Gonna look at his top six cards of his deck. He does find a Fighter G, but who does he even attach it to? Is this question like, I guess the bitch Lele? Maybe go for you to drive, but we have swung this game. Uh, Skylar missed some key cards. He missed, you know, the Fighting Member, not the Fighting Memory, the Switch. Take a knock on our, on our, um, on our Zork. And yeah, it's just, it just hasn't been going Skylar's way these games. So yeah, say so Max Luxor. Gonna put a Fire Energy on that Tapu Lele. Okay. Um, I mean, what could Skylar really do? He can't take a knockout. Uh, he can go for maybe Energy Drive. 
in 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Um, so let's see, if Skylar can find a DC, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, <clears throat> with 20, if he DCs Twistman, he can actually get a knocker on this Lycanroc. That is his only out right now. We see he does have one DC in the deck. Uh, I think it's one DC in the deck. Yeah, yeah, I think I see one DC. He does have a Kikui in his hand, um, which doesn't really help him either. Okay. All right, does he have... Yeah, he has to find a DC in choice to take a knockout this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's like because Lycanroc has exactly 200 HP, so it can take a knockout if he goes that way. Uh, we see a, an end going into his hand, but I'm like, hold on, you can't hold ball for end. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he probably just accidentally skipped a step. I think is what's happening here. Um, Maybe not. He's Ultra Ball right now. He discarded the Guzman second one. Let's see. Does he find anything with the Ultra Ball? Uh, he's going to grab a Type Null. Okay. Uh, he can put another Type Null and just so that way when he grabs it in, he can maybe not draw back into it, which is really nice. Uh, but when he puts down this Type Null, if he decides to put down Type Null, okay, nope, there's a Lele. I'm going to find an in. And is he going to put down the Type Null or not? I wonder. Let's see. Does he put down the Type Null? I don't think you put down the Type Null because if you do... You don't... Okay, so he's going to put down Type Null. Okay, all right. There we go. Uh, I was going to say, the reason why I don't like the Type Null being put down is because after this, he can't really, you know, um, power up another Pokemon. Um, his, his, he's going to be full of the bench. I highly doubt he plays Ace Rollo. We haven't seen one yet. So here we go. In. Skylar's going to get four. I'm going to get two. It's going to come down to, does Skylar find a Choice Spin DCE? If he does... Um, then he takes a knockout, and and then it's up to us to find a DC and start swinging with our lone Zork. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, we know Skylar has one DC in deck. I'm pretty sure that's all he has, um, because I didn't see any more when he was fanning his deck out. I don't know how many plays, of course. He, I don't have his list. Uh, but I only get two cards here. Skylar is only at four. Does he find Choice Man DC? Let's see, guys. Uh, he's got the Choice Man. He's got a Field Blower. All right, he's got a fighting memory as well, so he's going to put his hand down to zero cards and is struck for three. So let's see here, guys. Oh my goodness, does Skylar find what he needs here? He's got the fighting memory. He can attach that to us valley. He's got double choice. He can feel blur, get rid of both of our tools. So let's see, choice spin to the Lele. We see a choice spin going. Oh, choice spin going to the valley. He has fighting memory in hand. Uh. All right, so he's going to put the fighting. Okay, all right. So fighting memory on the type null. Okay. And we see a field blower get rid of both of our tools. And here we go. Struck for three. Does Skylar find this DCE? Three new cards coming out. Unless he does Skylar find it. Or Fighter G, Max looks there, and I don't think he found it. Oh my goodness, we are saved again. Skylar just not hitting these key cards in his deck. Oh my goodness. All right, so now we can... We can, we can breathe here a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. All right. So, we, here we go, guys. So, Scholar, you know, he's got a Guzma, but you're in, he already in does. Our hand looks like DCE Guzma. Like, <laughs> we have DCE Guzma in our hand, which can allow us to knock out that Savali GX. So, we are going to see um, a Fire G maybe attached to Savali. Um, let's see. You can see he's trying to do the math here. Man, yeah, that was that was pretty crazy. And struck for three, misses the DCE. I don't know how many's in his deck. I think he only had the t like the one, like I said. I think he does. Uh, so Skylar is gonna pass, or no, he's gonna treat first into the type null, and we're gonna see a pass onto our turn. Wow, that is insane, guys. So on our turn, we've got a DC, we've got a Guzma. We'll Guzma up to the valley. We'll retreat. And we will, my, we will, uh, we will claw slash for the knockout. Oh my goodness! The next one is going to be a DCE, and he was going to take a knockout that turn. That is insane, guys. That is so unlucky. The fourth card was going to be a DCE. I wonder how many cards, like how many DC Skylar does play in his deck. Um, like I said, I don't know exactly. Um, he really didn't attach that many that game, so maybe he only plays like one or two. I don't know. But there we go, guys. We will advance. Uh, let's see. What's in his price cards? Can we see what's in his price cards? Uh, show us the price cards. Come on now. Um, You can see it's debating what's going to happen next turn. I was going to say, well, Ike has a Zork with a choice ban, and that was pretty much it. Um, <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> so, yeah. There you go. Um... 
I don't know what's happening here. I think we're just trying to figure out what, what, what I was going to do next turn. Uh, but yeah, that was insane, guys. We were able to win that game. 2-0. Got very lucky, and we were able to take down this deck. Oh my goodness, guys. There we go. Um, that is top four. Pretty exciting games. I want to see his price cards. No, we can't see his price cards. Uh, that's unfortunate. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We will see you in the finals of this game. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the finals of Memphis League Cup already. Bye.